Once Upon Skates, a puppet play in four scenes by Vlasta. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Sanya. Sanya means she's dreaming in the Croatian language. From her window, Sanya loved to watch people skate out on the pond, daydreaming about skating herself. Although she neither had skates, nor had she ever skated. Scene 1 Sanya's room late at night. Sanya standing at the window. I had skates, I'd go out on the pond and glide like on silver wings. What's that sound? Oh! Hello, Sonia. I heard you want skates, but you can't skate. I can learn. Who are you? How come you know me? I'm the wise magician. I also know that your ankles are too weak for skating. But if I skate a lot, they'll get stronger. There, she's back at the window. Boy, she wants to skate all right. I think I'll help her. That night, when Sonia closed her eyes, she was skating on the pond. Scene two. Sanya on the pond under a starry sky a bit later. At the stroke of twelve, Mother Night raised her darkest veil. The crescent moon burst out of a cloud to light the scene. Oh, a pair of skates floating down to my feet just when I need them. Let's see if they fit me. Perfect! Stars! So easy. Flying. I can do anything. I'm happy. After a while, Sanya slows down. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. Sanya lies down and gentle sleep like a gossamer veil enfolds her. Gee witch, it's Sanya. Asleep under a veil only her skates showing. Gosh, what skates. Not like the old broom I hop around with. Look at the apple witch, getting all stirred up about some skates. Fancy the magician giving Sanya instead of me such a lovely present. But what if I act now? She'll think it was all a dream. Sanya, I'm trading you my broom for your skates. I'll be fly, skates and all. Bye. Scene 3. Sanya's room next morning. 
Sanya waking up in bed. <sighs> that was fun. I love skating. I'll get up and go out on the ice again. Oh no! Skates! My skates! Gone! Kids, did you see who took my skates? Apple Witch? Her house is close by. She lives on apples, but 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 she can't get them by magic. But how shall I get my skates back from her? Apples. If I take a basket of certain kind of apples, I walk near Apple Witch's house, sing an apple song. She'll come out. She'll want my apples. I'll dare her to a race. When I win, I'll take my skates back for good. Scene four. Next, outdoors. A snow path with a snow-laden tree under a bright, sunny sky. Apple, apple, juicy fruit, juicy fruit, when they bite your crunchy meat, will you make me light it on feet? Hello, Sanya. Are you selling apples? I'm dying for a bite. No, Miss Applewitch, but you can have them if you race me and you win. If I win, I get those skates from you. Okay, that's gonna be easy. If I can only have a bite, it'll get my juice is running. Oh, Sanya just turned away. I'll snatch one now. Soon the whole lot is mine. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Relaxing. My eyes, so heavy, my legs, can't stand up, gotta lie down. There, the apple which is falling asleep, the apples were dipped into a sleeping potion, now I'll take my skates back. Don't worry, kids, about the witch. That bite of apple will keep her dozing for a while. When she wakes up, I'll be far away. Over the mountains, the prairie, and a big ocean. The witch can't fly over the ocean, because she'd run out of apples in mid-Atlantic. Now, if you wonder what really happened and what was a dream, close your eyes and dream your own story. Happy dreams. Bye, kids. <laughs>